I have always believed that where you stay greatly impacts your impression of a destination. And I was thrilled to experience some of the most authentic and most elegant accommodations in the Satoshi region. Kirishiki is a well-preserved traditional town with historic merchant homes, storehouses, and a picturesque canal. Here, a stay at the Ryokan Kirishiki completes this trip back in time. This Ryokan has eight rooms, and each one's completely unique based on the old historic house. Mine behind me is a beautiful suite with multiple rooms and tatami mats, but it actually also has western beds, so it's a nice mix of old and new. This historic guest house is dedicated to authenticity, and it's kept much of its original structure. Yet now it has evolved with modern amenities, luxurious dining, and a very impressive dedication to service and focus on privacy. Whether wandering gardens, soaking in a tub, or relaxing in my room, this Ryokan is all about being at peace. Up in the Ia Valley, there's another type of traditional Japanese accommodation, the Kaminka. These thatched roof farmhouses have been converted into guest homes, where we enjoyed well-equipped bathrooms and kitchens, along with the traditional sunken hearth, and of course, breathtaking views. And it's pretty transporting to wake up each morning with this view. Heated floors made our sleeping futons toasty warm, and waking up to the first light over the mountains is something I will never forget. In the quaint town of Uchiko, the antique streets and well-preserved upscale homes tell the story of its wax-producing days. Now it's a lovely place to stay, particularly in a guest house like this one. Having the whole home to yourself adds a new level of luxury. Sliding paper walls section off multiple rooms, and there's even an outdoor spa house where I enjoyed a steam and a soak. This house is huge. There's two levels, bedrooms, bathrooms, zen rooms, and we have it all to ourselves. It's like we actually live here. This town prospered in the 1600s due to its wax trade, and now it looks just as it did 100 years ago. The fully equipped kitchen is perfect for preparing meals or having them made for you upon request, like this breakfast. Arima Onsen is Japan's most historic hot spring retreat due to its mineral-rich golden spring. The murky waters cure ailments and have legendary healing qualities, I stayed at Gosho Besho, a luxurious resort owned by the same family that started the first hot spring resort in Arima 600 years ago. My villa was basically a one-level house with sky-high ceilings and abundant space, accessed by an ivy-clad stairway. It had all the western amenities as well as the traditional beauty of eastern culture, along with thermal rooms and tubs. The artfully landscaped grounds add to this effect, and the buildings seamlessly blend into this natural background. The amazing thing to me about staying here is how I really feel like we're out in nature. There's foliage and trees, there's ponds, there's a river behind me I can hear. It's just so relaxing, and it's like we're enjoying the onsen the way the Japanese used to enjoy it hundreds of years ago. The modern, stylish hotel cycle is built for cyclists. They even have wall bike racks in the rooms and gear on hand. Yet even non-cyclists will enjoy their comfortable, yet efficient rooms, complete with a stone bathroom. As in many Japanese hotels, pajamas are also provided. And after a long day of biking, that bed has never felt so good. For a hotel that moves, the Seto Yacht Charter allows you to stay on board in one of their cozy cabins. You can take your floating hotel anywhere you please in the inland sea, enjoying the outdoor decks and indoor dining area as you go. 